All right, Ted. Well, it is the economic lifeline to Las Vegas and where you've likely sat bumper <laughs> to bumper many times for miles. That's the widening of the I-15 and it still remains a controversial dispute. Well, Nevada has widened its stretch of freeway past the state line, but as 8 News Now reporter Ryan Matthews shows us, doing so on the other side is not on the schedule. Hurry up and wait. The lifeline between Las Vegas and Los Angeles is known to stop beating. Most recently, when a big rig on fire spilled toxic chemicals across it and halted traffic for nearly two days. Where it goes from two lanes to one, it, everybody slammed on their brakes. It came to like a complete stop. These 113 miles are the problem. Much of it, two lanes in both directions. That's known to bottleneck from 11 million travelers on it annually. California says it's done its part. Five miles of the shoulder leaving Nevada were recently converted into a third travel lane. The signs along it show you can only use it two days out of the week. It's the remaining miles still only at two lanes that are expected to stay this way and continue causing those problems for the foreseeable future. And they opened up five miles. Well, that doesn't do anything. Las Vegas Mayor Carolyn Goodman has efforted change. This is the beginning. This isn't the end solution. Since even before California and Nevada announced the shoulder conversion, three years ago. In a statement, Caltrans tells 8 News Now, quote, these improvements are saving an average of 30 to 40 minutes on these days for travelers heading back to Southern California from Las Vegas, and that Caltrans has no additional plans to expand I-15 near the state line. Not acceptable. Mayor Goodman believes the lack pumps the brakes on emergency response. What do you do in 110 degree heat? Where are you getting water? Where are you getting food? There's no place to move. There's no place for help. A joint solution still at a halt. Ryan Matthey, 8 News Now. Now, the planned high-speed rail from Rancho Cucamonga to Las Vegas is supposed to alleviate some of that stress, but it won't be operational until 2028. Goodman believes the $3 billion President Biden awarded back in December should have gone to the widening of the project, Denise.